Hi guys, for this video I'm going to be teaching you how to cook frozen broccoli. Pretty straightforward, right? But this could be an easy dish that is relatively healthy as... When I look at the ingredients, it doesn't even have any preservatives at all. You can see it just says literally broccoli cuts. So you don't have to worry about this being unhealthy for you. So. If you've had the broccoli in your freezer for a while, I recommend the first thing to do is to literally just smash it to get all the pieces that have been frozen together to break off. And you just want to really follow the instructions. Depending on what you want to do with the broccoli. Uh, personally, I'm going to cook it in a pot. So we're going to be following the stove top instructions right there. We're going to place the frozen vegetables in half cup of boiling water, stir and return to boil, reduce heat, cover and simmer for six to eight minutes or until desired tenderness, drain and season for taste. Honestly, just the main thing about frozen vegetables is you want to definitely season them because I tried these broccoli bits without any seasoning before and they're just not worth your while. You definitely want to at least add salt and oil. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want to open the package and then you want to put them all in the pot. Oh, check that out. Look, we didn't even get a lot of, because usually in these frozen bags, you get a lot of just the stem, but we got a lot of just whole broccoli in there. Wow, this is pretty good. You know how much this cost me? It's cost me 99 cents, okay? And this is a week's worth of healthy vegetables with no preservatives. So next thing you wanna do is you wanna add a half cup of water. So you use a half measuring cup. This is the part where I'd like to thank my roommates for sponsoring this measuring cup and you should be good to go. And it's fine if you don't cover all the broccolis with water because you're going to be putting a lid on the broccolis to trap the heat and the moisture while you cook it. So what you really wanna do now is we want to cook the broccolis, put the broccolis on a stove top on medium heat for until they boil. You just keep an eye on it. It should take about hopefully 10 minutes or less. Looks like the broccoli is now boiling as you can see in the water down there is moving. So you know what that means. We're gonna switch from medium to low. And now we're gonna put a timer for seven minutes. A good in between between six and eight. Once it boils, you want to stir the broccoli around a bit. Since I'm doing this with one hand, it's a little harder, but you get the point. Basically, you do this to make sure that the broccoli is well cooked all around. After seven minutes, your broccoli is gonna be fully cooked and you want to dump out all the water in there, then move the pot over for some seasoning. So now that you finished cooking your broccoli, we're going to be adding some seasoning. It's gonna be really basic. We're just gonna add some garlic sea salt. I really love garlic sea salt and pretty much include it in every single one of my videos. And then we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil just a little bit and there's a reason why I do it in the pot rather than do it in the actual container where we're gonna put it in and that's because I personally want the broccoli to absorb as much as it can in the pot and whatever excess you know will be washed away when I wash the pot and when I transfer it over. And also just because, well, honestly, the pot is bigger and easier for me to stir in. The container where I put this in is really small and fills up all the way up to the top. So it makes it really hard for me to stir the broccoli in there. So I just do it on here. 
honestly. That's really the main reason. And now we're gonna put it in the container. Now we're just going to transfer the broccoli into its container. As I said, super small, hard for me to mix in, so that's why I mix it in the pot with all the seasonings. And there you go, that's easy to make broccoli for the week if you don't wanna make broccoli that's already good to go without freezing it. Thanks for watching, guys.